Today, we're talking indexing versus partitioning, so imagine you have a giant library. Indexing is like having a quick reference guide. It helps you find that one specific book in no time. Partitioning is a method of breaking a database into smaller manageable chunks, similar to splitting a library into departments with each function independently, making it easier to handle large amounts of data. Additionally, partitioning encourages parallel processing. Each partition can be processed independently, speeding up data retrieval and management. Both indexing and partitioning use columns as keys. When selecting an index key, high cardinality is beneficial. The higher uniqueness loads less data in memory and makes referencing easier and search faster, but the focus of partition keys is on even data distribution across partitions, aiming to optimize performance and storage, while minimizing joins. Joins across partitions are possible but leads to increased complexity, network delay issues and potential performance overhead. This is often discouraged. Selecting a partition key can be complex, considering multiple tables and choosing a common intelligent key to ensure datasets are in the same partition, preventing joins across multiple partitions. Now let's compare using the gender column as an index key versus a partition key. The gender column as an index key can enhance searches for gender-specific queries but its low cardinality may not significantly reduce search space. Similarly, gender column partition key speeds gender-specific queries by distributing data between genders, but the very low cardinality results in less partitions, less parallelism, and underutilized server resources, requiring careful evaluation. Yet if compared, the gender is deemed more suitable as a partition key compared to the index key. That's it for today. Happy to share more tech tips. Happy coding.